Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Thursday. Thursday morning. Thursday morning. And about that story, I was going to save for today. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to save it for another time. <laughs> we hope, okay. I'm, I'm just going to save it for another time. I am it's a, so... Is it so good? It's just right? Okay. Yes. I am so excited to hear that. I cannot, mm -hmm. I cannot wait to hear that story. But it'd take you forever to get the dang thing uploaded if I did tell that story. Yesterday, you saw my troubles. I posted it on Facebook. My upload speed. You know what? Just watch this video. All right, peeps. It is 11.22 on Wednesday. Now, I'm using this for the Thursday show. I'm cutting it in. But I want to show you. Sometimes, shit just don't go your way. My modem, which is right here, I have now hardwired it into my computer, which is supposed to make your upload speeds a lot faster. As you can see, the studio, I got the fans over there, the dogs, the green screen, there's the camera, there's our new mic, here's my upload, been uploading, can you see that? Can you guys see that? I still got to upload to YouTube. Uploading. See if I can get y'all to focus. Uploading. That show has been uploading since 9.40 this morning. And it's only at 20%. So what do I do? I call Grande. What happens now? I have to wait for Grande to come out. They'll be there between 1 and 3. So, by the time they get here, bang, bang, bang. By the time they get here, hopefully I will have the show uploaded. This is some of the stuff that happens when I, I want to complain, but I'm not going to complain. My dogs are barking, so I ain't worried about it. So, enjoy the rest of Thursday's show, because Wednesday's show is good but it took forever to upload. Peace out. Should have been hardwired all the time. Well, now, you're absolutely right, but my upload speed, even at hardwire, was less than five. It's supposed to be 20. So mm -hmm. the guy, I didn't tell y'all, I didn't take a picture of this. The guy hardwires into my modem and drags a cable all the way out, leaves my front door open, pulls it all the way to the line, and we finally find out it's out there. But I got a free modem. My, I did my test this morning. We are running at 22 uploads. So maybe we'll have this thing up before lunch today. That's right. That's right. Dwayne, mm -hmm. I want to apologize. He was the only one that sent me going, hey, I start my day with two idiots. And I went, you must be talking about us. I was wondering where he was going. He said, I start my day. And speaking of having it up by lunch, at lunch, is a healthy dish down at the backyard today. Don't tell them because it's going to pop up in a little bit. Okay. Don't tell but them. But I'm going to tell you, that sh I think that should be, we know who sent this over. Yes. It should be side, not yes. side. I thought so too, but I was like, yeah. maybe they're saying, man, okay. it's like the size of a salad would be. Yeah. Okay. No, no, okay. No, no, I'll, no, well, I'll no, fix no, that. I'll no. fix that. Can we give a shout out to <laughs> X-Man? X-Man. Not Dez. Nope. X-Man. X-Man Rodriguez. Yep. If you watched Cowboy and Lucky 2, he played Little Lucky. He sure did. And got roughed up a little bit. Yep. And we've known him since he was this big. About He's probably this old. big now. Yeah. Probably five or six. He's he was probably like taller than I am now. but He was uh, five or six. Anyway, he sent us a message going, you know, enjoy you guys. I think you he guys rock that guy. kind of stuff. So shout out. X-Man, sweet. Uh, Terrence Beavers, I just want to say this. Terry, we did and we do know about the LeBron and Charles Barkley feud. Ooh. Now, this is simple. Old men, older guys, us included, think the younger generation are a bunch of punks. I still think that in softball. I think them younger players are... Got no respect, bunch of punks. Not that I don't dislike them. 
I think they just play the game totally different than when we played. And I think that's what Charles is saying about quitting whining and all this stuff. But LeBron is like, he Googled him, went on and found out a bunch of crap about him, brought that out, and Charles goes, I won't respond to that. But LeBron just wants to build a championship team. What do you, what is your take on Le, Charles calling LeBron soft and quit whining? That's where I'm going. That's Charles Barkley's job. I, and he does whine a lot. Yes. He, he Bird whined, Magic whined, Jordan whined, but it wasn't so, it wasn't so. Yeah. Today's a show. They went over and went, hey. Yeah. This is my league. I'm going to need a call. Yeah. And he just whines. They all do, though. They all do. If they don't make the basket and get bumped going to the hole, it's like, there's no, I make every shot. And it's not just LeBron. It's all of them. It's down into college now. It's down into high school. It, it. Well, I will say, I did watch the Baylor Bear boys last night. I was watching And them. there was a couple bad calls down the stretch. Did they win? They did not win. Dang it. I'll get to that in a second. But we had a reach in that got all ball. They were just out of position. It's not a reach uh, around for some of you. Yes. Okay. Another on the other end, it happened the other way, and there was no call. They hit us on a three. No call. I mean, there was some fit there. But when you have the ball down three with 16 seconds, and you dribble it out. Oh my gosh! No. Without way. even getting a shot off. That you can't do that. You can't do that. Go to the hole. Try to get fouled. Shoot a three. You they got... tried to play a two-man game, and neither one of them showed up. <laughs> so it just went down. Threw the ball out of bounds with 1.3 seconds over to the other team. Oh, that was actually. <laughs> Kansas that... won 51 in a row at home. So oh, they would have lost. Getting, getting they Kansas lost. a, a They're getting some good calls. They're getting some good calls. At right Allen Fieldhouse is yeah, tough. They're getting some good calls. That was uh, actually pretty funny right there. I do a lot of things, and a lot of it consists of on YouTube. Whether I'm looking up new drone cameras, whether I'm looking up cameras, whether I'm looking up how to shoot a scene, how to do a scene, whether I'm looking up workouts. Do you feel, do you feel right now, you're, you're, you are, you just graduated high school, and you Look Sweet. stunning. Do you feel with 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 your hustle ability that we have grown over the years, which I think we've done pretty good, do you think with YouTube you could be successful in what you're trying to do faster? Whether it's business? It it depends on it depends on what it is. I growing up all my life I wanted to be a stockbroker. And I don't think I don't think YouTube would. But you don't think you could trade more and learn more online to where even if you were trading small to learn the market, having it at your hand? Uh, I No, not on something like that. I mean, a trade, a mechanic, a filmmaker. Uh, a workout trainer. Work, a trainer, whatever. A lot of those are on there. Yes. DIY, woodwork. I mean, plumbing. I mean, you can find any of that stuff. But I don't really think you could do it in that profession. But that being said, a whole lot of them, yes. A whole, you know, yeah. if you want to be a, just take film. If you yeah. want to be a filmmaker at 12 years old, oh, there's free programs, there's filters, there's all kind of stuff that you, you it's at the palm of your hand. We Finger know tip. it's so good. We know that I always say YouTube College is so good that me and Hope and you have watched a 14-year-old give us tutorials on how to color grade. Mm -hmm. 14. That is, that is where I'm saying it's hard to say I can't do anything anymore. <clears throat> with, with the kids, it seems as though they are fixated on stuff. Yeah. We <clears throat> bounced around. We woke up in the summer. We woke up in the morning and we went and played baseball. We did too because it was hot. Yes. So we got up early 
to go play baseball. Then we got on our bikes and we rode all over town. We'd find somewhere cool to Chill. eat lunch yeah. or whatever, somebody's house. Then if it was my house, we'd take all the furniture out and bring the ping pong table in. Or we would play some Atari or in yeah, television or something. You didn't have the depends lower on class, where we were. Lower class Atari like that. <clears throat> then in the evening we'd go play basketball or something. So it was what's next with with the kids today, man. They can get fixated on a yeah. game or fixated on YouTube, and they won't move all day. No, they sure won't. That is that is a good that is a reason why we had a big child obesity in this in this in this world today because you're right i don't have to go see chris when i can text him while we're playing this game i don't have to go see that so but i always say youtube college don't ever say you can't do nothing and phones and 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 computers and stuff have taken over i mean i think 30 plus is probably watch i can't even say that stephanie don't watch regular tv yeah she's a she's a hulu we have hulu we have amazon we uh, steal your Netflix, so appreciate that. And we do, uh, she watches, records all them shows. So it literally, and the great thing is, she just goes and finds it, then she'll binge watch. Like tonight I'm bowling. She's got four shows to watch. She's like, oh, can't wait till you're gone. Can't wait till that you're gone. That being said, I go and visit Stephanie yesterday. Right. And she said, I was going to send y'all a picture the other night. Yeah. And she goes, ah, Russell had me mad. I didn't ask why. I'll tell you. She said, she came in, told you, you can just stay in your office. Right. She's going to work out on her own. She sure did. What happened? <clears throat> After I backhanded her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't do it. Here's what happened. She gets home late. She's going to train. I go out there with her like always. Sometimes she just wants me to tell her what to do, leave her alone. Sometimes she wants me to help her. But I am responding as we're walking out to the gym. She turned with everything's on. I got it all set up. She's getting her drink. She's got to stretch first. I am responding to my buddy George in Phoenix because I'm video training him. And all I'm saying is, hey, I got it. Our good. We'll do this tomorrow. She looks at me and goes, do you want me? Do you want me just to do this while you're texting? And I said, well, well, you got you got to warm up first. I said, I, I'm, I'm not even, I'm finishing a text with George. It has nothing to do with you. Immediately, I, trust me, what she said wasn't that big a deal. The way I took it was, oh, you ain't got, well, you know, I'm, I'm here now. Let's go, you know. And I went, that has nothing to do with you. So here's how we, here's how we work. Okay. I said, what? Because you know me. What? I said, you responded to me, I responded back, that's all. She said, I totally agree. She said, won't you go in there, I know what to do. And instead of me standing there and trying to make her understand my point, I have learned and I went. You just went. I'll and, go in there and be there. It's one of those deals, of, the story's better if you just go, I was mad at him, I told, we all do that. <clears throat> But, but it has taken a while to learn that. It has taken the apples and oranges. I, I, told, I told you the one thing uh, about the younger generation for me is it's instant gratification and it's instant, I'm mad at you. Are we done? Yeah. It's no, we're going to keep this going for two hours or all night long. It's okay, we're done. Yeah, yeah. Move on. Yeah, they don't. And you go, I don't want to be done. <laughs> I got a whole lot more shit to say. I got analogies. I was ready. I'm writing down some extra stuff. So you just. That's how we use it. Next time. Next time. Just like she knows I'm old and I won't remember. Just like that story. I will tell you next time. (laughs) But that's how we used to do it until we decided apples and Apples and oranges, but you know what? I think we were on the road so much and didn't yeah, have nothing did. else to do. We yeah. just argued to argue. But she did that. And I and I literally, after I said my deal and she went, why don't you just go in there? I can get it. Instead of trying to make her understand, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about by training you. I'm going to stay. I went. You're absolutely right. She went in there and trained, came back in here, and went, all right, let's go in there and watch TV. And I went, okay. And, and you're right. It was done. 
Oh, 99 out of 100 times, there's no reason to argue. That by the time you, you get you, you think about it, you're like, man, why'd I say that? Why'd she say that? Why'd he do that? Why not take the bait? You know. That's it. Why not? Now, <clears throat> there are some people that are just miserable, and they want that. Oh, that, yeah, That's yeah, attention. Yeah. That's a deal. I, I, so we're not going to talk about that. We'll save that for another day when Chris uh, tells his, his story. What is your vegetable... What is your plate? What is your plate at the lunch at the backyard today? Grilled chicken. Okay. Smothered in if you you can get you can cut it if you want. Right. Bell peppers and onions. Oh, I thought it is good. With a cucumber based balsamic vinaigrette toss salad. Right. So it's got cu- it's got cucumbers, tomatoes, that no no lettuce. Right. Because yeah, lettuce, ain't no calories in lettuce. Yeah. But lettuce can become hard to digest. Correct. Roughage is something. Don't eat a lot of it. Eat more spinach. Yep. Uh, raw spinach in your salad. But I don't put lettuce in it just because digestive reasons. But I'm going to tell you what. It's about hardly any calories. It's only the chicken. Yeah. And the balsamic would have very little, but it's only the chicken. And, you know, that is that is a really good deal for you while, while you're down there or I'm down there to where you don't, it still tastes good to you and it's savory. So you don't feel like you're missing out, right? Yeah, like, because you, you got the sauteed yeah, onions and stuff on there. it and then the balsamic with the cucumbers. I mean, it's, I, that was my go-to lunch during that time of, of getting in better shape. You know what I want to do? Stay right there. Stay what right you there. What you going to do? Go. Where you going? Saturday, or after the Super Bowl, we're going to give away maybe $100 of Chris's money. So you need to go find that. Okay. You need to go get that. I think I got some change. But here's today. Here's today. I'm going to give away this hat, the Red Sea tan hat. But here's what you got to go do. You have to go down to the backyard, have Chris's meal, and take a picture with you eating that meal. Don't go take a picture of our special that's down there that that's gonna be, you know what I mean, like pick it up like you get it. I want you to get it, eat it, it's healthy, and whoever does that will get Ooh. this hat. Hope somebody shows up. Whoever does that will get this hat. Hope somebody shows up. Hope the show gets up before lunch. If this, if, if you're watching this at 6.30, <laughs> you have missed out on this hat. <laughs> All right, man, have a great weekend. We'll do the best of show tomorrow. And remember, get your scores in for the game. Uh, hey, and come down there and watch the game with us. Yeah, Brian, Brian's got a bunch of stuff set up, some trivia, some some. Uh, we're gonna throw some Football. footballs around, try to win some stuff. And I, I come up with another idea I think will be kind of cool. So anyway, are you gonna wait and hold that, or are you gonna you really got this one? No, you got to show up down there and see. Okay, it. good, good, good. Until Monday, man. Watch, like, share. I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are out of here.